Hello and welcome to this B1 Usability Package e-learning session. My name is Rasmus Rolf Jensen and the topic of this session is B1 Search where we'll be covering the basic information. So here we are in Business One and B1 Search is activated. You can see that by we have this small to, uh, search toolbar below the main menu. So very simple to use, we simply just make a search. In this case, um, let's search for the contact person called Daniel Brown. And let's press the search button. Or just hit enter. So we got a result back. And we got back that Daniel Brown is part of these invoices. He is from this business partner. There's these two deliveries. He's part of these five sales opportunities, four sales orders, a sales quotation as well. You can set up what you want to search for, all depending on, on what you want. In this case, I've searched for. I didn't search for income account payments, but if, for example, I was only interested in master data, I would simply go in and disable all of these. Say so save my search default, do a search again, and it will only return business partners. In this case, there wasn't, wasn't any items. And again, if I wanted to have documents on as well, I could get the documents as well. Got the invoices and sales orders and quotation. One additional thing I have is I have the option to right click any of the search results and give additional options. So for example, I can right click here and I can say, okay, do I want to open the business partner? Do I want to do a new, new data for that business partner? For example, if I want to do a sales order, I could right click and say sales order. It would choose parameter technologies and I'm ready to add a sales order for Daniel Brown. Same way. And here when I press the, the link button, it will open up the invoice, but I have the option if I want to go directly to the business partner instead, I have the option to do that here. Like this. I can expand and collapse my results if I want to get an overview. As default, the search only search for open documents. In this case, these are all open invoices. I can also go in and search for only, uh, also include closed data. Let's see if that's additional. So now we get 25 invoices, so that was both the open and the closed ones. I can also go in and say, I only want to search for the data I actually created. So I can say, search my own data. And in this case, I created most of it, but not all sales quotations, for example. As mentioned, we can search for the different functionalities in here. Uh, and the search, uh, the save my default data is user specific. So uh, you could set it up for this uh, as the current user logged in. I'm logged in as Jason Butler here. But if one of the people from uh, accounting uh, comes in, they could say, oh, I, I don't care about documents. I, I care about the, the income, uh, ingoing and outgoing payments and, and then get data from that instead. So search and I get the income payments. So each user can set up B1 search as they want to have it. So what level of search do we have? Well, we are, we can search for almost anything in the system. Uh, and for that, that, let's give an example. Let's say that we want to have a new sales order for the, the, this test customer. Let's put in a few items. And let's put in text. Let's say my search 
string and something unique. So let's add this. Put in a delivery date. So now it's added. And let's try to search for that text line. And in our case, because we previous didn't search for AI noises and lines, let's just search for those. And we will see that we get our sales order. In the same manner, if we have user-defined fields, we could search for values in those user-defined fields as well. Let's go to our business partner. And let's create a user-defined field. some code like this and let's take that Norm Thompson which we have here has this special code in here just to show you that something unique Let's update this and let's try to search and see this case because I created a new I used to find fields my, my search bar went away if it goes away you simply go to window and be one search and you get it back let's search for this and we can see we actually find them something based on this so it is almost any field in Business One, it actually search the, for your data. This concludes this session. For training material, please go to service.biom-it.com education. Or if you want a free demo of the product, go to license.biom-it.com b1up. If you want to contact us, you can do it either by our sales email or our support email. Thank you for attending.